This means then the Lord is the Lord of your household. That means then the Lord God, he is the Lord of your going out and your coming in. That means he is the Lord over me. He's the Lord over my life. Only then do you really begin to understand what it means to say the Lord. All those who said the Lord knew that he was my Lord. It is my privilege, my honor to uh, thank God for uh, to be up here to share the word of God with you. I thank God for giving me this opportunity. I thank God for, yes, let's, let's clap our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I thank God for, uh, uh, for, for choosing me for this, uh, for this calling. It's a great, great blessing, a great privilege uh, to be a sharer of the word. And this altar is anointed. Amen. And uh, this altar was built, you know, um, by spiritual hands. So we're not talking about a physical stage. We're talking about the altar that is Romy Ministries. That's Revealed Word. That's Chogi. From our, from our prophet, Papa, let's clap our hands together for Jesus. Our prophet, Mama, let's clap our hands together for Jesus. And Pastor David and Pastor Mana Foster, let's also clap our hands together for Jesus. Amen. One thing I know for sure that... The, the name Olu David is, the devils, are no, they know that name. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> they, know, they know that name. I, I can attest that there are times when, where my faith was weak. Let's, oh, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let us quickly go to, um, give me one moment here. Let's quickly, let's start quickly at Exodus chapter 3, verse 14 and 15 and 16 and 7. I'm joking. <laughs> let's read together quickly. And what? Who said? He said what? Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Verse 15. Wow, we can stop there. He says, this is, what is his name forever? What is his name? The who? The Lord God. The Lord God. You don't believe me. <laughs> you don't believe me. What is his name? The Lord God. His name is the Lord I am that I am. Let's, go, let's jump to Exodus chapter 6 verse 2. What does he say? I am the Lord. The reason I started by uh, Exodus chapter 3 was because I remember a time when... Um, my faith was very weak, and I didn't, um, I was praying, I was believing God for some finances, it was a while back, maybe six, seven years ago, and I just didn't really know, a few times, I've called upon the God of Papa Olu David, that's why I said what I said, and, because I was like, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm declaring, I'm declaring, and I would say, Lord God of Papa Olu David, speak for me, and something happened right away. There are names that that are, that the, that devils tremble, and there's there are names that when God hears it. So when you say I am the, I am the Lord God, the the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God, Jacob, God of Jacob, that means something. This tells us one thing. This tells us something that there's power in that name. There's power in that name. 
There is power in the name, the Lord. And we have to come to know who he is. We have to come to know the name of the Lord and use that name to our advantage. As a son of God, you have to know one thing, that you have the name, you possess the name. And number two, you have to also know that you can use that name, declare that name. Later on, we'll talk about how you sing praise unto that name. And then we'll go into how you are known by that name. And then we'll go into how you are called by that name. But before you get into all that, you must first know the name. Know the name. I wonder if I should share and talk about some of the thoughts that, that um, I was communing with the Holy Ghost. But when um, the recent election passed, right, and there was a lot of um, talk, a lot of things happened. Some people are cheering. Some people are mourning, <laughs> you know. And, you know, I have my own thoughts or whatever the case is. But I searched, I searched as it were the heavens. I prayed. I spoke in tongues. I'm very curious to so those who are spiritual if they can tell me what they've also seen when they prayed. Because when the whole world felt the tremor, there was one place where there was no shaking. And that's the heavens. I'm telling you that the heavens didn't scream for joy. And neither did the heavens mourn. The whole world is, is fit. what's going on? Okay, this is good for us. Let's move on. Oh, no, this is bad. Let's, let's, let's create guardrails. And I prayed, I prayed, and I was just asking the Holy Ghost. And the definition of God was unbothered. As though this, was, this did not even measure on the Richter scale of Zion. So then when this message was delivered to me, I said, this is what God was trying to tell me. Is that, what, don't be so concerned about earthly kingdoms. You and I, we belong to a different kingdom. Amen. Don't be afraid of anything. And don't rejoice. Don't let your joy be that either. Amen. What did Christ tell the disciples? Rejoice that what? Your name is what? Within in heaven. That is called Zion. Last, last month where we talked about rest, settlement, Beersheba. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. God promised us this. Let's quickly look at... Well, before I go there... No, let's go there. We'll go to Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14. And then we'll read Hebrews 12, 22. So you know the, the place where God has put us, where you belong, where you dwell. What does it say in Jeremiah 3, 14? Read. Behold, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and to a family. And I will? I will bring you to Zion. I will bring you to Zion. I will bring you to Zion. But what does it say in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22? What does it say? Read. But what? Say, I have come to Zion. Say, I have come unto Mount Zion. Unto the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. And to an innumerable company of angels. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When you received Jesus. If you are born again. If you are born again, you receive the Holy Ghost. Your kingdom, your domain is Mount Zion. You live in Zion. This is Zion experience. That's what Beersheba experience is. It's a place of rest. It's a place of settlement. Spiritual rest. Spiritual settlement. Where the scripture says you don't fear their fears. You don't fear their fears. Because you live in Zion. All I care about is what is happening in Zion. And do you know what is the most important thing in Zion? What is the essence of Zion? 
It's the name of the Lord. Someone say the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is proclaimed in Zion. The name of the Lord is been declared forth in Zion. The name of the Lord is stamped in Zion. And those who live in Zion, those who are Zion dwellers, those who are citizens of Zion, have inherited that name. Say, I have inherited that name. Hallelujah. Woo-wee. I have inherited the name of the Lord. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. So that one day your children will say, I call upon the God of my father, Jashon. And God will say, I know that name. Because that name is written in Zion. Hey. Hallelujah. That's you. The heritage of Zion dwellers. He who letteth will let. You will minister to souls who are lost. And God, and God by knowing you, will say, okay, come. Because your name is written. Wow. Where God will say, because of Asia, I will save these children. Because she prayed. Hallelujah. Come on. It's beautiful. You, so, but that's, that is those who know how to use that name. You have a right. You have a right. Hallelujah. So those who know how to use that name enjoy deliverance. We read um, earlier, Obadiah 117, Papa showed us through that. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be what? Holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Possession, holiness, deliverance. There are devils that like to harass children of God. It is by the name of the Lord that you drive them out. By the name of the Lord, now you drive them out. In the name of the Lord. Is it, what scripture is it? If I wish I had time, I would have gone through it. There are some that go around casting out or speaking, or railing against devils. But because they don't do it, they do it carelessly. Sometimes you learn a little bit about spirituality. And you go trying to cast out a devil, cast this out, cast this out. And when they come back at you, you see fire. <laughs> But those, but those who, say, you see, what, what did he say? It said, I should find it. It said, um, Acts 19. Let's go there. Oh, that's the scripture of the uh, sons of Sceva. Yes, we'll go there. L- let's go there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find another reference. Let's read there. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. I will speak answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, overcame them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Mm. Only the citizens of Zion, those who, those who have the name of the Lord, can command in the name of the Lord. But those who dwell in Zion, we do things by the name, through the name, in the name, all for the name of the Lord. Someone say amen. For the name of the Lord. And in doing so, those you... And that's where you also glorify the name. The name is a beautiful thing. It's a sweet name. It's a sweet name. Hallelujah. The name that once spoken brings life. Amen. And it's not just the name. That's the difference. The difference is that it's not just the name, right? It's whose name is it? It is the name of who? the Lord. It is not just the name as people call names. It is the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. So the citizens of Zion, when we speak that name, we know who we are talking about. 
I know who I'm calling. There are many people named John. But when I say John so and so, or when I say John, or when I look at such a person and say John, not all the Johns in the world respond. He knows who I'm talking about. Amen. So the name is, of the Lord is for our liberty. It's for our freedom. It's to cast out the works of darkness. Amen. It's for our living well. All the benefits of Zion are in that name. Amen. I'll quickly, for time's sake, So for time's sake, we'll jump, we'll talk a little bit more about knowing his name and receiving his name. And I would like for us to start at John uh, chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 12. And let's read together. How many of you have received him? Amen. It's the same thing. When it says receive him, it's a one and the same. As believing on his name. Those who believe on his name. Those who have received him. Believe on his name. Those have the power. To do what? To become sons of God. The sons of God. Sons of God. The sons of God. Becomes those who have received him. And those who have believed on his name. So you must place value in that name. And you must know the name of the Lord. And you must know who the Lord is. The primary step to receiving the name is to be surrendered. Somebody say surrender. And... I suspect that this is the struggle that many go through in using the name. What does the scripture say? Resist the devil and he will what? Resist the devil, he will flee from you. But by now, we all know that there is something that comes before that, no? What does it say? Submit. Submit yourself unto the Lord. So for as many as have surrendered to the Lord and has, have submitted unto the Lord, those then can use and declare the name of the Lord. You know, to be a citizen of Canada, you have to submit to certain things, right? You have to get the passport, I have to do all these things. If you came here and you said, I don't want to do any of this. Let's say you were, let's say you were an immigrant. You said, well, I don't want to get a passport. I don't need a passport. Why do I need a piece of paper? All right, fine. Good luck. Even if you were born here and you said, I don't want, I don't need, I don't need a passport. I don't need a driver's license. I don't need this. I don't need a health card. Okay, fine. You, I guess you can stay. But you won't even be able to enjoy the benefits. All right? So there is a level of submission, surrender. It is one thing then to know the Lord, 
But I guess the question for you is, is he your Lord? How easy is it for you to say from your heart, the Lord God is my Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord God, he is my God. He's my Lord. So then, because this means then, the Lord is the Lord of your household. Amen. That means then, the Lord God, he is the Lord of your going out and your coming in. That means he is the Lord over me. He's the Lord over my life. Only then do you really begin to understand what it means to say the Lord. All those who said the Lord knew that he was my Lord. My Lord. I belong to him. He's my Lord. Jesus, the Lord God, my Lord. Amen. Lord of my home. Lord of my house. Lord of my job. Over my finances. Over my body. Over what I choose to wear. You think I want to wear this? <laughs> I would love nothing but just baggy jeans looking, looking like a, you know. <laughs> but I don't do just what I prefer to do. I submit to the Lord. Amen. Because for me, it is important to possess that name holy. Lay hold on that name holy. Fully. So you can be confident to declare the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So in that name, you can use that name in Zion. Because you're a Zion dweller. And in that name is your deliverance. In that name is your glory. You're not just a church goer. You must be somebody who actually speaks that name with intention. Speaks that name with authority. In your daily life, throughout the week, when you face challenges, do you have a consciousness and awareness that, oh, I have the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. I dwell in Zion. The name of the Lord will accomplish this. That's important for you to know. Amen. So that's, that means you are more than a churchgoer. You are more than a churchgoer. You're not just somebody who occupies a seat on Sundays and sometimes on Wednesdays. And maybe tune in online once a week. No. We are somebody who declares and speaks and believes and has received the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Let's look at Isaiah 42 verse 8. Quickly, let's read. It says, Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Amen. Jeremiah 16 21. What does it say? Jeremiah 16 21. We need to read together. Jeremiah 16, 21. You guys have your own Bibles. No? <laughs> Amen. Therefore, what? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on, someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I really want us to read, to read it together. It's very important. Please, find, get, you have your phones, you have your Bibles. We have to read it. Amen. What does it say? Therefore, mm -hmm. behold, mm -hmm. I will this once cause them to know. Mm -hmm. I will cause them to know my hand. Hallelujah. And my mind. Amen. And they shall know that my name is the Lord. Someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I know his hand. I know his hand. Say, O oh Lord. O oh Lord. I know your hand. I know your I hand. know your might. I know your might. I, you have caused me. You have caused me to know your hand. To know your hand. To know your might. To know your might. Therefore, Therefore I shall know. I shall know. And I will know. And I will know. And I know. And I know by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. And by the faith. And by the faith. Of Jesus, Christ, of Jesus Christ, I know, I know that, your name that your name is the Lord. Is the you, Lord. Are the Lord. you are the Lord, and you are my Lord. And you are my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. And Zechariah 14, uh, verse 9. God wants you to have an encounter like that. Right now, you are declaring after me and declaring after scripture. You are speaking what is, you're speaking the word, you're speaking faith. And then there's a time when something will happen to you. Someone say this week. Something will happen. That will cause me to say now I know that you are the Lord. Hallelujah. This week. This week. This week. Amen. And then when you do it, you'll say, ah, you are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. That is your name. Hallelujah. And then that name becomes, becomes real to you. It means something to you because you have the personal testimony. Zechariah 14, 9. It says what? And the Lord shall be what? King over all, all the earth. earth. And what? In that day shall there be one, one Lord, Lord and his and name one. one. The Lord and he, the spirit are one. His name is one. His name is one. And that is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, increase my faith in the name, in your name. Increase my usage of your word by your name, for your name, through your name, and in your name. Hallelujah. This is what it means. This is what, when we pray in church and we say in the name of Jesus, after everything, this is what it's supposed to mean. This is what it's supposed to mean. When we pray and we, and we round up and say, in the name of Jesus, I say amen. On prayer mountain, when God says in the name of Jesus, you should, all this, that, the testimony of his name should ring true. That means something, the name of Jesus. For a long time, for, from, from a long time, since a decade now, every time I hear the name of the Lord, I just, all I hear in my head is yes and amen. Because he said, I am the yes and the amen. So when I hear amen, I'm like, oh, that's Jesus. That's the Lord. When you say amen, you are saying the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is the banner in Zion. So when you, for those of us who dwell in Zion, when something is declared, you say by the name of he who is stamped on this. Hallelujah. There is no higher name. There is no greater name. The king's seal has stamped it. The seal of the king has stamped it. You say the name, it is done. The devils know it. Demons know it. They tremble. They tremble. All other demons, no matter how fearsome they may look, they know that name, they run. Hallelujah. You must know that name. Somebody, somebody rise up. Say, I know the name of the Lord. Say, I know the name of the Lord. My joy is in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, my glory is in the name of the Lord. My glory is in the name of the Lord. My beauty is in the name of the Lord. My beauty is in the name of the Lord. My righteousness is in His name. My righteousness. Is my holiness in His name. Holiness the, name. Holiness the, name. the Lord is His name. Lord is his name. Jesus, Jesus is His name. Jesus is his name. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, I proclaim victory. 
before me in the name of the Lord by the name of the Lord through the name of the Lord I am an overcomer nothing will stand before me no obstruction before me no devil will harass me in the name of the Lord in the name of the Lord and in the name of the Lord come on declare use the name 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 so says the yes and the amen. It is done. As you declare the name, it is done. Come on, prophesy, 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 prophesy. speak the word. Say, I am healed, whatever it is, in the name of the Lord, I am healed. We are in the name of the Lord, the of my the Lord. children are saved. In the name, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, my in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, my in the name of the Lord, 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 from the world, and this will I say them from the city of Tilly and this glory from the rising of the sun. Let the name of the Lord be declared. Let the name of the Lord be made a shadow. Let the Tilly be proclaimed. Let it be proclaimed. Let it be proclaimed. In the name of the Lord, I am delivered. I am delivered over the rascal. I am delivered to the city. I am delivered to the city. I said, Lucia, 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 Luc
Before the Lord, the Lord is in the house. Shetan must go to Jericho must go to in the name of the Lord. Shout it again in the name of the Lord. That established Zion. That established Zion. That established Zion. Rebuke you. Your false spirit. Rebuke you, you devil, you spoiler, you tormentor, you liar, you shaker, you troublemaker. Go ahead and rebuke them now. Don't rebuke them in the name of the Lord. Get your deliverance today. Don't wait for the end of the month. Today is your deliverance for your son. Rebuke, rebuke. Concerning that boy. Oh, no, take it. Yet, Eliana. Ejikolo, no, yeva. In Jesus' name. To you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of all. You are worthy.
Lord. Say you are the Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, just lay on to him to take the surrender. Unless somebody roar, Amen. to know your hand and your might. Give me know that you are the Lord. It's Lord. It's Lord. It's Lord. Ah, may the Lord be revealed to you this way. Amen. May the name of the Lord be revealed. Amen. May it be declared. Amen. May it be proclaimed. Amen. You come to know him as the Lord. Amen. You come to know that name as the name of the Lord. Amen. No, we come to know that name as the name of the Lord. Amen. The name of who is in authority. Amen. The name of you who is commanding. Amen. The name of him who opens the door that nobody can ever, ever lock again. Amen. Amen. The name of the healer. The name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Let that Jesus come to you afresh by revelation. Amen. Amen. My encounter. As it happened to Moses, may you come out this week yes. and say, Yes, I know Jesus. Amen. Amen. As the Lord. Amen. He is the Lord. Amen. The conqueror. Amen. The owner. Amen. The door opener. Amen. The healer. Amen. The miracle worker. Amen. Amen. The savior. Amen. The deliverer. Amen. The father of the fatherless. Yes. Amen. The help in times of trouble. Amen. Amen. The air connector. Amen. Amen. The settler. The Amen. rest. Amen. May you know. Amen. May you know. Amen. May every day of our lives, beginning from today, be a day of praises unto the Lord. Amen. May our gathering every Sunday be a gathering unto the Lord. Amen. Let our meeting be a meeting unto the Lord. Amen. We sing praises unto the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let no other name matter to you and forth. Amen. Let no other name scare you and forth. Amen. Let no other name scare you and forth. Amen. Let no other name matter to you and forth. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. You never, never deny that name. Amen. Amen. You never, never reproach that name. Amen. Amen. You never, never take that name in vain. Amen. Amen. You live for that name. Amen. Live for that name. Amen. Do all things in that name. Amen. By that name, Amen. to that name. Amen. May your life and my life experience a turnaround for supernatural elevation before the end of this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Let your amen roar. Amen. Let your amen roar. Amen. Let your amen receive it. Amen. Let your amen receive it. Amen. I receive it. Amen. I receive it. Amen. I receive it. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, stand in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen.